Oh, the old southwest. Where the towns are only half as big as they were a hundred years ago. So many possibilities, but... Well, I guess I'll get out and investigate. No, I don't think I went there. Oh, this looks a little too wide open. What about up there? Yeah, that looks good. Hmm. Yeah, gotta be some junk around here that's antique. Well, probably not. The locals probably picked up everything worth over a dollar. like a bunch of glass over there. Well, that's worth a try, I guess. It's six o'clock and it's winter time and I'm still dripping with sweat. This is the Dust Bowl of America right here. Kwana, Texas. That's 90 degrees in winter time. Look at that Coke sign. That actually is the Coca-Cola bottler of 1910 right there. That is the building that produced the straight-sided Coke that I'm looking for. Yeah, that's a really crude looking sign there. That might be the original painting from 105 years ago. Here's a new discovery, a 1915 patent dated from Kwana, Texas. I don't think we had any Coke bottles in those others that you packed away, did we? I don't think so. Made in 1920. The code on it? I don't think so. I put it There it is, the Coca-Cola bottling building. Okay, here's the before. Well, I sure did a lot of digging. Down at least four feet. Haven't found a single piece of a soda bottle or any other kind of bottle for that matter. But it's definitely a privy because there is some glass and a lot of burnt coal and very soft dirt. Well, a hundred dollars worth of labor and I got paid nothing. Not one piece of a soda bottle in here. Well, I filled it as good as I can, but it doesn't look that good. But I have another privy poked out right here. I hope it has more than nothing like the last one. It's so hot and miserable in this town that even the bees climb down my straw to drink my soda. I think that's the edge of a cistern. 
Definitely shows on the Sandborn map in 1908, a cistern being right back here. And no, it doesn't have any glass in it, it's just full of cement and dirt. So again, I have struck out. This might be the crudest coke sign ever made. It's not painted on brick like most of them. It's painted on rough rock wall. And this will probably be torn down in another year or two. The ceiling's already caved in. This is Quana Tech. It's always nice to be able to drive right up to the privy. I got a hole here that could be for a hotel or a saloon. It's on the other side of the alley from a bunch of businesses from the turn of the century. Well, it definitely has the right coloration to be an undug privy. Well, I'm down two feet and it's already producing more than the Coca-Cola property. Got some pieces of drinking glass that look like about 1907. Starting to feel like a normal privy. There's a lot of debris in here. Is this the local railroad China? I don't know. Alright, starting to find some stuff. And there's some 1910-ish looking extract. I just pried out what looks like the first bottle. Looks like a nice whiskey. Well, no embossing. Well, at least we got something. Alright, I see a neck of what looks like a pharmacy bottle. Here it is. Well, it's unembossed. But I'm sure it's blown in a mold. And it is. So, it's the right age anyway. Got another one showing. like your common extract, no embossing. Well, now we're getting all machine made. This one doesn't even look old. I wish I could say this is an amber coke, but I doubt it. Oh, it's some kind of a medicine looking bottle. Oh great, it's cracked too. Okay, I found another one, so... That's another two dollars for me. All right, we've got a globe brick. I wish I could say it was from Globe, Arizona, but I don't think so. It's chipped up a bit, so I'll probably throw it back. Well, that's it for this one. And there's the Great Museum. And the famous Coke sign. Soon to be destroyed. Here's the rare Christmas Coke from Colorado City, Texas. Then a knee high from Colorado City. I didn't know they existed. I mean, um, and here's another kind. It looks like a Dr. Pepper product type, but it's not marked as Coke or Dr. Pepper. And here's yet another Coke sign. It doesn't have nearly as much character as that last one, though. Here's an interesting assortment of signs. Got your Chiro Cola, Dr. Pepper.